Hello friends, in this video lecture, we will try to understand steps to solve LZ78 algorithm with a simple example in which we will try to solve encoding and decoding part. LZ78 is again a technique of data compression. Here, the given code we require to compress so that the new rule will arises like LZ77. First rule is any new entry we write to write down in this particular format. That is nothing but I comma C. I represent index and C represent code word. Better to solve an example so that you can easily understand how the index and code word we require to write as per the entry. As shown, LZ78 encoding algorithm, they have given us a code A, B, C, D, A, B, C, A, B, C, D, A, A, B, C, A, B, C, E. Now friends, here you can have or the example can contain 20, 30 or 40 characters too because this is very simple technique to encode or to decode the data. What you require to do? Only two easy steps. First one is index and second one is entry. And in what form you have to write it? In the encoder form which contains I and C that is index and code word. That means you have to write down two types of index here. The first index is in series simply from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and so on. And the second is the index for the encoded output. Now how we can write it? Let me show you. The answer for the entry A. The first character in your code is what? A. So entry is A. Why I can write here the entry? Because this is nothing but the new entry. Why? Because before this nothing is present in our table. So the first step A is present. At an index, that means simply a series number. That is what? 1. Now write down the encoder output. In encoded output, you have to write down the index and code. As this is a new entry, always try to write down 0 index for a new entry. But I can use one more word for a complete new entry. Why I say like this? You can easily understand in step number 5. A is new entry. Why? Because before A, nothing is present in the given code and so that nothing is present in our table also. So 0 after that code word, C of A. Why A? Because A is the complete new entry and it is of only one character. Hence, first as well as last character present in the new entry is A itself. Try to understand in the index, if entry is completely new, you require to write down the value 0. In the code word, you require to write down the last bit of the new entry. So here, I am able to write down C of A. Like that, after A, what is present in your given code? B. So write down in an entry, the character B. Now B is a complete new entry. Why complete? Because before this, no any character which contains B is present in the entry column. So now I can write down the new entry, hence index 0. And the last bit of a new entry is B itself. So code word of B. Similarly, after B, the character which is present in a given code is C. Before this, nothing is present like a C in your entry column. So that the entry is completely new. Hence, the index value 0. In your new entry, the last bit of your character is C. So, the given code word is C of C. After C, what is present in a given code? That is D. For D, before this, in an entry column, nothing is present which contains the character D. So, that as per our rule, the entry is completely new. Hence, the index value 0. And the last bit or the character present in the new entry column is nothing but D. Hence, code word of D. After this, again A is present. 
now we already know that a is present in our table so that what i can do i have to take the series characters after a so after a what will be the new entry a b will be the new entry now AB is the new entry, but whether it is a complete new entry? No. Why? Because A is the character which is already present in our entry table. So that now I cannot write down here 0. Why? Because it is not a complete new entry. So what index I must have to use? A is already present. At what index? Index number 1. So now use that index 1 over here and code word is nothing but what? The last bit or the last character of your entry. So last character of our entry is B. Hence, I can write down here code word C of B. Try to understand always the complete new entry is having the index 0 and if a single character or the number of characters already present in the previous entry then write down the index number of that character itself. So now after this the next one character which is present in our given code is C. We already know that C is present in our entry column at index 3. So I will try to now take some characters which are in series with C, C A. Whether C A is present in our previous entry? No. So that C A will be the new entry. But it is not a complete new entry. Why? Because minimum one character is already present in our previous entry. So, what is the index for encoded output for this C? That is nothing but 3. So, 3 is the index. And what is the last character in your entry? A. So, code word of A will be the output for C A. After this, what is present in our given code? B. Whether B is present in your previous entry? Yes, it is present at index 2. So, I will try to take the next series combination. BC. Whether BC is present in the entry? No. So, BC will now become a new entry. But it is not a complete new entry. So, that index of B will come over here. That is 2. And the last character from your code word is nothing but C. So, C of C. Like that. The next character is D. Whether D is present in our entry column? Yes, it is present at index number 4. So, I will try to arrange the series combination again. So, DA, whether DA is a new entry? Yes, because DA is not present in the previous entries. But it is not a complete new entry. Why? Because D is present at index 4. So, I will write down 4 comma C of the last code word or the last character present in the entry. C of C. And this index I will give as an index in series. After that, whether A is present in our entry? Yes, it is present. So, take a series combination AB. Whether AB is present in our previous entry? Yes, AB is also present in index 5. So, again the next series combination that is ABC. Whether ABC are present in our entry? No. So, A, B, C now we can treat as a new entry. But which index I can use? A is present at index 1, B is present at index 2. But maximum number of combination for entry which is getting matched that, that is at index 5. Why? A, B is present over there. So that now I will write down the index 5 comma last character of your entry that is what c c of c like that after this what is present a which is already present in entry so take a series combination a b yes a b is again present in your entry a b c yes a b c is also present in your entry column so now the next series combination is what a, B, C, E. That is not present in our previous entry. So, A, B, C, E will be the new entry. 
but it's not a complete new entry. Why? Because A, B, C, the maximum match of the characters or the code words are present in the last step and at the index 9. So that I will write down the index 9. And what is the last character of the entry? That is nothing but E. So code word of E will be there. Hence, our encoded output, if you try to observe, that is nothing but this column. So you require to take all these 10 encoded outputs and you can easily decode the data and you can easily get a original message with the help of decoding technique of LZ78. In the decoding side, we can take the output which we can get from the encoded data and we can verify whether the encoded output is correct or not. Simply, this is the data which is now in your hand, the output of the previous example. And what we have to find out? The entries. With the help of these entries, we can get the original message. So, what is the encoded output? The first entry is 0 comma C of A. 0 means a complete new entry. So that now I can write down the last bit of a character that is what A in the entry column. 0 means A is new, means nothing is present with A. So that A will be now your new complete entry with the index 1. This particular column or the index you can write down in series. I already told you. After that 0 comma C of B. 0 indicate complete new entry. Nothing is present with that character. With what character? Code word of B. So now B will be your single new entry. Next one is 0 comma C of C. Again index 0 new complete entry. Of what? Code word of C. So C will be present. 0 comma C of D. 0 is present hence single word or the character that is what code word of D which is nothing but in your entry. After that you are getting the output 1 comma C of D. Try to understand 1 is present that means something is getting added with the code word. Code word of what? Code word of B. We all know that code word of B means the last character in your entry is nothing but what? B. And something is present with B which is at index 1. So what is at index 1 is present? A. So AB. Hence AB will be now your new entry. Like that the next encoder output is 3 comma C of A. 3 is present that means something is present with this code word. Code word of what? Code word of A. A is our last entry as we know that code word itself indicate the last character of your entry. And what is present with the A? The something which is present at index 3. So again you require this particular chart. At index 3 what is present? So with index 3. What is present? C. C is the character. Hence, with A, try to add C. So, C A will be the decoded output or the decoded data. The next entry is 2 comma C of C. Again, whatever present in the code word, write down as it is as a last character. So, C will be your last character. Before that, what is the index present? 2. That means what? Something is present with this C. So, at index 2, what is present? B. Hence, BC will be now new entry. The next one code word is 4 comma C of A. 4 is present. Instead of 0, something is present. That means it's not a completely new entry. So A, C of A. A is the last character. With A, something is present which is present at index 4. So at index 4, what is present? D. So D A will be now your entry. After that, the given code is 5 comma C of C. So C is the last character as it is present in the code word. Phi so at index phi u, what is present? A, B. So now your complete entry will be A, B, C. The last entry of your encoded output is 9, C of A. As usual, 
in the code word what is present write down it as a last character so e will be your last character with e something is present what is that present at index 9 so if you watch after the 6 after this 5 this is the 6th entry 7th 8th 9th and this is the 10th so what is present something which is present at entry or index 9 so at 9 what is present abc so try to write down abc with the last character c so in this way if you try to observe the original message then that must be a b c d a b c a b c d a a b c and a b c e hence in this way we can encode the data in a other format so that it can get compressed in our size as well as it will get encrypted that is for the purpose of security and at the receiver side again the receiver can easily decode the data and it can get the exact replica of your original message that means it can get original message back thank you for watching this video stay tuned with ikeda subscribe ikeda